So a couple of years ago now, my daughter and I took a nine-day timber framing course at the North House Folk School in Grand Marais, Minnesota. Besides the chain mortiser, uh, the tool we used most frequently and found very handy was this simple layout square. I've heard it called a Bornman template. Now that I'm working in my own shop, I'd hoped to buy one for myself, but when I looked online, I found that they're both very hard to find, and if you could find one, very expensive. I decided to take a stab at making one myself. I thought this was just a prototype, so I just used materials I had on hand. I realize that some viewers will be frustrated by the fact that I'm using a CNC machine here. It's certainly not a tool that most people have in their shop. If I didn't have the CNC machine, I think I'd probably tackle this using a plunge router and a series of one inch wide strips of wood that I'd use as guides for the router, removing strips to cut each subsequent slot. If anybody has other ideas how you might make this template without using CNC, please leave a suggestion in the comments area. Cut quality is not quite what I'd like. I got a little bit of chip out on the top of the acrylic with the upcut bit, a little bit of sanding. It should be all right. Shouldn't affect the accuracy any. Now I actually did the cut in two passes. These are supposed to be one inch wide openings. And I found when I measured with the calipers that they were actually slightly small after being cut by the machine. So I just set a slight offset minus 0.005, five thousandths of an inch, just to cut a little wider. I ran the cut again. And then after measuring, I had one inch between on the bars and in the gaps. So I was happy with that slight adjustment. So now what we're going to do is I've got some test letters off the side of the piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a cut, just a little test letter cut here. Now we'll put on the engraving bit for the letters. It's like with the knife, I can clear out this melted in plastic that's in the numbers. So actually the numbers aren't too bad. After you sand them, you can read them. And after you carve out the melted plastic.
we go. It's not perfect, but it will definitely work. One homemade layout square, inch and a half to that line, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Flip it over, you got two, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, and so on. And I checked the measurements with my calipers, and it is bang on. Two inches. Bullseye. And I got up and started playing with it and realized I've laid this out backwards. So I got to flip this. Not the end of the world. And I think I got enough material that it will still hold up even after flipping. There, fixed. Two inches, inch and a half. Ha! So after using this layout square for a little while now, I can make three observations. One, it's an extremely useful tool. It makes layout very fast. Two, making it out of clear acrylic is a good idea. It's nice that you can see through the template while you're doing your layout. And then finally three, I probably should make the fence a little bit taller so that it registers more solidly against the beam. However, for what I thought was a prototype, I have to say it's worked out great. I imagine I'll be using this tool for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, and I love to hear your comments. As always, thanks for watching.